Do you think that what makes a Loki a Loki is the fact that we're destined to lose? No. We may lose. Sometimes painfully. But we don't die. One of the writers in our writer's room, Alyssa Karasik, she, she came in with a real strong POV that it should run it, that love story thing. And it, and it was something the, the whole writer's room got behind from day one. Not bad. You know, it's so chaotic to fall in love with a version of yourself. And, but at the same time, it's such a bad idea and so mischievous. It's like, of course, Loki would fall in love with himself. But he's also a character that I think needs to you know, get past his demons and find the good within himself to be able to go on that redemptive journey. So at the heart of it, you know, it is this love story and you never fall in love at the right time. And I think the nice thing about it is that Crater Lake is where these two characters really come together and they realize there's something deeper going on here. You know, in life, we all go through struggles, but we can't do it alone. And if we have people we can trust, it, it lightens the load and it gladdens the heart. And I think the relationship between Loki and Sylvie is about that connection, that they learn, each of them, to care about the other. What a incredible seismic narcissist. You fell for yourself. Her name was Sylvie. Oh, Sylvie, lovely. How do you spell that? Is that with an I-E or just an I? Is she alive? For now.